Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching JavaScript for Beginners Lesson 23 and in this video we're going to take a closer look at NAN, which stands for not a number. <laughs> Alright gang, so in the last lesson you saw me do something like this. We had two variables and one was a string with a number inside the string and the other one was a pure number and we logged the addition of these together into the console. We got something like this which was 75 and what's happened is it's concatenated the two together, squashed them together and given us a string 75, right? So what would happen if I did multiplication instead of addition? Let's save that and refresh. Now this time we're getting a number back. It's no longer a string and it's multiplied these two things together. So what the hell is going on? Well JavaScript is being useful here, all right? And it's saying, well, you can't multiply a string by a number, but because in this string I can see only a number, I'm gonna help you out. I'm gonna give you the result that you want. I'll multiply these two together this one time, and I'll give you that number, all right? So that's just JavaScript being helpful. However, if we were to write apple there, right, we cannot times five by apple. Yeah, we could get five apples, but that's not the way JavaScript works. That will return us NAN, which stands for not a number. It's basically saying to you there that, look, whatever you've done does not make sense. I can't times Apple by five. You know, go back and fix your code. But this is also really useful for checking whether certain values are a number when they should be. Imagine this scenario. You've got a website and you've worked out the meaning of life. You have a formula that can give you the meaning of life, right? And you want users to come onto your website and enter in some details about themselves, like their age, and all these details have to be numbers because they're going into this formula. Now you have one particular user that takes it upon themselves to enter in a word. They're quite thick and basically you're like, well, what are you doing, dude? You're meant to enter a number. So you wanna check whether he's entered a number and not a word. Now we can use this NAN to do that, all right? So how would we do this? Well. Let's say these are the values that he's entered, apple and five, and you just wanted two numbers. So we need to do an if statement to make sure that he's entered two numbers, right? So we'll just first of all check that A is a number. So we'll do our if statement, this is our code block, and then this condition here is gonna check that A is in fact a number, right? Or rather, we're gonna check that it's not a number. And we can do that by using a built-in function of JavaScript called is N -A -N. And remember, this stands for not a number. So we're saying, is this not a number? And then we pass it in this variable here. All right, so we're checking whether A is not a number. So A is not a number, so this will return true, okay? Quite confusing at first, but you'll get your head around it. Is A not a number? Yes, it's not a number, so this will return true. So right here, we'll do something like console.log that ain't even a number thicky all right so we're telling them look go and enter a number instead and we could say something like else and then we'll work out the meaning of life for them which believe it or not life is and then we'll concatenate the result of A times B. All right, so let's look through this again. What we're saying is we've got these two variables. One of them is a string, it's not a number, and the other one is a number here. We're checking here, is A not a number? Well, it's not a number, so this is gonna return true. So therefore, we're gonna log this to the console. That ain't even a number, and we spelled that wrong. That ain't even a number, thicky. However, if this was a number, if this was five, then this would return false. And we'd go down here to the else statement and we'd say the meaning of life is A times B. Very simple, guys. Let's refresh. And we're getting this message right here. That ain't even a number thicky. All right, so let's change this to six. And then finally, ta-da! The meaning of life is not 42, guys. It's 30. It says so right there. Okay, so that is NAN, that's how we check whether something is not a number. And there is a slightly easier way to do this, or around, rather like a, the opposite way to do this. We've seen that the exclamation mark, this thing here, is the not sign, it's the negator operator. You know, if we wanna check something's equal to, we say that, or if we wanna check something's not equal to, we say that. Now we can do that 
right here in front of this statement. And this there, my friends, becomes a double negative, all right? This gets a little bit confusing. Now we're saying, is A not a number, not? Or basically, we want to check that A is a number, all right? So this basically reverses this statement. So this will now be false, okay? I know that's hard to get your head around it and it gets a little bit confusing, but believe me, if we put that symbol there, we're saying, okay, is A not a number? Well, if we put a word in here, then that would be true because A is not a number. And then we're putting the negator operator in front of it. So we're reversing that. We're saying not true, which is false. Okay. So then we can switch these around if we wanted to like this. And that one there, there. Now, technically, there's no real difference in the way we've done this. It's just that sometimes we don't have an else statement. We just have the if statement and we want to put the outcome here. All right. Whew. So <laughs> if you have any questions about this whatsoever, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, if you enjoy these videos, please share, subscribe or like. And I'll see you guys in the next one.